What do you think about working in Hong Kong? Uh, Hong Kong obviously has very long working hours, that's for sure. Hong Kong is, uh, is very dynamic, Hong Kong is fast paced. Lots of, it's all very different um, people from around the world, so you can learn a lot from different cultures. The working hour is long for me. What's the average like per day? Uh, I think it's seven to eight hours. Tokyo sucks. I love Hong Kong. Um, it's hard work. You have to work really hard. It's quite competitive. It's good. It's very fast paced. It's uh, very dynamic. I like it. Oh, it's been enjoyable. It's very different. The first time I've really been here, so it's been very nice. Oh, I would love to work here. There's a lot of good business right here. so because I've been here a long time. So it's getting very crowded. I mean, you can see right now, everybody's on the street. I think the working culture is changing. That's good. It's becoming a bit more uh, modern. It's becoming a bit more uh, accessible. It's becoming a bit better. The culture is changing, but it's just too many people here now. I've been working here for 20 years, so I enjoy it. A lot more efficient in many ways. People are quicker to respond. People will work longer hours. A language barrier, definitely. Um, at the beginning it was difficult, but I think now there's been a lot of improvement. Building relations usually take time, but once you do that, you build a trust amongst yeah. each other and, and it's fabulous. What do you think about like communicating with people working in Hong Kong? It's actually easy, straightforward. It would help to speak Cantonese, but uh, most of my business contacts, they obviously speak English. I think it's quite easy to work with Hong Kong people. The environment is surely a very, uh, very good for business meetings, yes. My business is Hong Kong business, but I have work-life balance in Switzerland. The working hour is long for me, but I know some people who don't work that much. Uh, is your working hour long? It's okay, it's okay, it's satisfying. Do you need to have overtime work? Uh, yeah, 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 I think that's normal. Would you need to get overtime work? No, my company doesn't pay over time. Do I feel stressed? Um, sometimes. I think everywhere has its stress points. So um, I think people in Hong Kong in general work probably the hardest of anywhere I've been. But I also think, you know, people know how to relax and, you know, they have a lot of healthy habits. People go hiking, you know, they go, uh, they go to the beach. How was Hong Kong compared to Hong Kong? Yeah. More different. Over there is more relaxed. Hong Kong is more stressful. Over here is you have to run after the money, the most important, because it's the most expensive place in the world. Yeah, true. Sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. why it's a pressure for a lot of Hong Kong people right now. You wake up in the morning, you've got to pay this bill, pay that bill. Very different. Yeah, but we're going to go pay some bills now. Have you ever worked in other cities? Yes, I have. Like, where? South Korea. How was Kuwait. it compared to It's just faster, it's more international, everything moves very fast here. So would you prefer Hong Kong? Hong Kong, I'm here, right? I'm from Switzerland. I worked in Switzerland. Here you have Asian people and in Switzerland you have Swiss people. No, um, Hong Kong is a very efficient city. It's perfect for business, longer working hours. People are less patient. I work in Singapore, in Tokyo, in London. Tokyo sucks. Not really busy, but the working hours are real. You just have to hang out without doing anything sometimes, just because the Japanese do that. What would you plan on staying in Hong Kong? Of course, I love this place. I love this place, yeah. It's not very easy to stay long term because of the housing price and the density. I've been here over 40 years, so... Way to go. Way to go. Okay, Hey, you're not hungry, man.